And so generic Guten here, and welcome to yet another tasting video. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm joined by Julia, and the candy and snacks we're gonna look into are Catalan snacks, which I have because I was in Catalonia, and I bought quite a few things. Way too many actually, I had a Spanish friend send it home to me, and I kind of regret it because the amount of money I spent between buying stuff and also the shipping is insane. But also I'm happy that I can look into Catalan stuff, because I don't think that's something you hear much about. True. So, let's dive right into it. I'm gonna split this video a bit into chapters, because the things we have can be placed easily into different categories. We have chips, we have sweet stuff, we have chocolate, we have bakery things, and we have things to put on bread, basically. I don't know an English term for so that. So way too much of all. As always. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna start with chips. Ooh. I actually, like, right off the bat I had way more of a selection of every of these categories, but I went, then I was like, this is insane, I have to, you know, get lower with that. I still have an insane amount, so that didn't help much. True that. Uh, which ones do we want to start with? Let's just take the, the regular package. Okay, so here we have Torres. Torres. And I think these are like potato chips. I think those are like not the most outstanding thing, but as far as I'm aware, Torres is like a Catalan company, so... There will be things in here that are more Spanish than Catalan, I guess. So please don't judge me for that. I'm trying my best here to, you know, represent Catalonia, but... Even though I had a Catalan friend with me, knowledge is always limited. Mm. Ooh, they kind of smell oily as hell. Oh no. Oh yeah. You definitely can taste the oil. What's funny to me is like the first bite I took I was like, oh, there's salt lacking, but no, it's actually really salty. True. Like the first chip I took, I thought, okay, it's not that salty. It's actually really nice. It's really okay. But then I took several at once and it actually is really salty. They're not bad though. No, they aren't. Regular chips. Yeah. Maybe a bit oily, but that's basically almost every chip. Yeah. Okay, let's continue with Torres Selecta, Iberian ham flavored. Mm -hmm. Jamón Iberico. Iberico. Mm -hmm. Try it. It's not working. Oh, that damn. Works. Good quality packaging. <laughs> yeah. That's not how we're supposed to open it, but we opened Absolutely it! Absolutely not, yeah. Woo! <laughs> this is the... Oh my god. Yeah, this is even worse. They look literally like the they other ones. They look the same. They look exactly the same. Mmm. They do taste like jamon though. They taste so different. Mmm. To be honest, and I know I'm gonna be killed for that, I'm not the biggest fan of jamon. So this is not exactly my flavor, but it's not bad. Mm -mm. I just don't think I would buy it. Because I'm also not the biggest fan of the flavor. Yeah. Like for the flavor it's supposed to have, it tastes really good. Yeah, absolutely. And for people who like that flavor, I can recommend. But like I myself wouldn't buy it. Yeah. Okay, so there's this vegetable chips with four different flavors. And I don't even know what half of these are. Uh, this is radish, I think. Yucca, that's something like that in, in English as well, I think. Okay. Yucca trees, you I don't know. Carrot? I don't know, is that sweet potato? It looks like sweet potato, yeah. I would say it is, might be something else too. Maybe ginger, I don't know. But it looks like sweet potato. Ginger chips? Yeah, why not? Mm, maybe. Oh, mm. oh, that's an air package. This also, this looks like apple chips. I don't know which of them... Oh my god. I don't know what that one is. I didn't get any flavor from that. No, mine neither. The carrot one is kind of carroty, but like... I mean, they all sort of, like the, the two that I tried, they all have flavor, but only after I already ate it. Like, as some sort of aftertaste. Taste. <laughs> They're I like them, odd. but they are kind of flavorless. Yeah. Or if they have flavor, it comes really late. It really does. 
Yeah, that's absolutely not my thing. Okay, next category would be three things. We kind of always have three things, that's funny. We do. <laughs> We're gonna start with the <laughs> colored popcorn because popcorn. at least I know what that is. Yeah. The company is the same as for the vegetable chips. Oh, true. Which is, I think, the only thing that links this to Catalonia, honestly. Do they have like this different tastes for color? No, I honestly don't think so. Not the biggest fan of sweet popcorn. It's not that sweet though. I feel like it's, it's very not, neutral. It's not. It's okay. But like, I I love salty one. I feel like with as neutral as it is, you could put this in a bowl and put salt over it and just make it salty. Or like mix it with salty popcorn. Yeah. It would be kind of cute actually because of the colors. I am honestly considering to later put this in a bowl and put salt over it. Okay, so um, it's not bad, and I like that it's colorful. It's not too sweet, and I feel like it would work well with salty popcorn. Yeah. Okay, um, I think this is anise flavored something, mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> Let's just go. I open everything so badly. Does it smell like peppermint or something? I don't know what, it smells like alcohol? This smells like something I can't identify. Do I chew that? <laughs> no, it's like hot candy. Mm. It's kind of like licorice, but alcohol. Oh, it's kind of like um, very strong cough syrup. Weird. I mean, I don't hate it. I feel like some people would love this, but this is not for me. I can't even chew it. Did you just chew that? Mm-mm. Okay. Not that bad. It's fine. It just takes too long to eat. And then from the same company, we have Regalinas. You can go for it. I'm still eating the other, other yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, yeah, it's the same thing. I'm trying to eat that fast right now and it's just not working. Okay, these products are for licorice lovers, which makes me regret putting them in the sweet category. Mm. I'll just eat one, even though I still have stuff in my mouth. <laughs> the entire sweet category just wasn't really sweet. Yeah, it's the same. This is even stronger. Yeah. Now the question marks. I think we're gonna go with, mm, yeah, we're gonna go with that now. Next category, I think Toron is like what it's called. This is apparently like it's either very Catalonian thing or at least the company is very Catalonian. Catalan, whatever. I don't know exactly what this is. This costs a lot of money. Really? Yeah, I regret buying so many of them, but like then I was like, all of these sound good. So I, I had to get more and this more. This one looks the best to me. Yeah, I kind of want to start with that one. I'm still chewing that thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a bit of the this Toron bar. I don't know what Toron is made out of, or if that's actually what it's called. Mm, there's Toron written over it. Yeah, I think because Vicente is the company, so I think Toron. I don't know. It smells like chocolate. Mm, there's chocolate on the side, like. Mm. What is this? Oh my god, like it's it's really nice, but like mixed up with what we had before, it is so weird. It is really so weird. But I think it's delicious. I think yogurt and pistache, pistachio, that's what this one is. It's nice, it's very nice. Yeah, I like it. I, I wouldn't be able to describe you what the hell it is. Turon blando de almendra. I don't know what... Oh, Almond? Yeah, probably. So, Almenda. <laughs> here we have almond turon. Oh, this one feels weirdly dusty. Dusty? Yeah, like... That's weird. Dry-ish. Oh my god, oh my god, the big part. Yes. <laughs> oh no. It's definitely more dry, yeah. It's not as sweet as I would like it to be for my personal... Mm -hmm. How preference? is that so different from the one before? Yeah, I don't know. It's really nice though. I like it. Yeah, I would not be able to compare it to. You really taste the almonds. Mm -hmm. It's really almondy. What is that 
Turon Yema Quem Mada Con Edul Edul Sorantes. Omen. Yeah, that's also Omen. I don't know. We don't. <laughs> we don't know. It's just something. It's just another flavor of. With like 60% of almonds as well, so let's see. I just checked the packages while he was gone, and I'm surprised that all of them are actually gluten free. Like. I mean, what would gluten do in this? I don't know, but it's good to know that there's no gluten in there. Consistency? Um, what? Okay. <laughs> what does it even taste like? Almond. <laughs> A little bit like marzipan, but very weak marzipan. Yeah, mm. oh, oh, the more you eat it, the more it becomes marzipan y. Mm -mm. For me, it just tastes really like a little like it. Oh my god, why did I get so much again? <laughs> you know, I'm actually a big fan of marzipan, but this doesn't really taste like it. Like I gotta say, it's supposed, it's probably supposed to taste like it, but it's such a light taste. Yeah, it's very... That for me, in comparison, it's something else, sort of. Like it, it can't compete. Uh -huh. Here we have... Duro con endulc corantes. I don't know, this looks again. Why do all the turons look so different from each other? They also all have dis different consistencies. Like Massively. Really, all of them were so different. Oh, this is very... That's hard. Oh, it's just basically nuts again. <laughs> I don't think you can break that. I'm not eating the whole thing! Oh my god, no! There and we I go. have the rest? Oh my god. Oh god! What is happening? Are you dying? How do I bite this? I also don't like that one that much. Mm -mm. Once again, got it too way too long. Turon souffle de avellana con chocolate. Or Toro souffle de avellana amp. Chocolata in Catalan. Chocolate. <laughs> well, a lot of the time it's like in two languages. Like, for example, the back is in Spanish and in uh, Catalan. Good thing you got the scissors. Can you split that in half? Oh my god, if you can. Give me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Here's the thing, that's probably traditional. Mm. It's nice and all, but it's way too bitter for me. I think it's good, but like I still pass. Because it's not too bitter for me, I like bitter chocolate. It's too sweet. Nah, that's just straight up sugar for me. Where? I don't know, for me it's really sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna get bread. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the bread we have. In half. In a lot of slices, actually. In... Oh well, a lot of slices, yes. We have three, three different... Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So... I don't know the, the flavors, like what, what those are supposed to be. This is called pâté. It's very Catalan, from what I was told by my Catalan friend. And I'm very excited for that. Um, this is jamón, so this is, this is basically ham. This is pimenta, which is a spice. And this is finas herbas, so probably herbal something. We're gonna start with the jamón, because, you know, jamón. Because. <laughs> Explains itself. Could I've just turned do this you, open I wanted without... to say, do you even rip it off? I don't think so. I'm I'm a dumb fuck, okay? No, you're not. Okay. Oh my lord, I can't do that either. I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm strong. <laughs> Good, because I can't get any of these open. This is still good, right? I don't know. So this is jamón pâté. Thank you. Thank you very much. Gonna wait a second. This is almost like making a breakfast video. <laughs> We're eating breakfast in the evening, very late. <laughs> yes, Catalan breakfast. 
Looks nice. Smells interesting. Smells salty. Mmm. I'm definitely not gonna give this away. It's so delicious, wow. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is my favorite of the entire video already, I know that. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so much better than like the stuff I ate here, <laughs> to be honest, like in, in our country. Yeah, absolutely. It's so good. Mm. Cool, it says on there, like what's in there and I can't even read that because I ripped it off. I'm such an idiot. It's so rich in flavor, uh, that one. Like, I don't know, it was so... How did I open this? Am I Hulk? <laughs> okay, this oh, has this a strong is, well, scent. Mm -hmm, yeah. And I don't know if I like the scent, but like... It's not all about the scent. <gasps> There's a type of uh, meat you put on bread in Germany that would translate to liver sausage. I don't think it's made out of liver, but it's called liver sausage. In and our that looks, country, yes. Yeah, that looks very similar to that. Actually, not a it big fan a of, the, bit like that, honestly. of the German thing you just mentioned. Yeah, same. Like, I don't like it that much, but let's just give it a try. Yeah, it's okay, but like, I usually don't go for it. This is not as photogenic, but... It's similar to it, actually, mm. to what I just mentioned. But it's good. If you're into it, yes. Mm. I'm not gonna say it's bad because it's not bad, it's good. Yeah. But like, I'm not interested in that kind of paste. Right, yeah, yeah. The only thing about it is that it's probably not suitable for vegan people. True. Because I'm pretty sure there's meat in there. Should be. Well, huevos or eggs, definitely. It's also not gluten free this time. No, sin gluten meat. Oh, yeah. Mm. No. No, I don't know. Wait, give me a second. No, chili con carne, chili sin carne. Sin means without. Okay, yeah, true. Then it's gluten free, guys. <laughs> and finas yerbas. Wow. Hmm. Oh, they all smell so intense. Like small ways. Wow. Such a nice breakfast. <laughs> it's a very, like, I feel like I will eat this for the rest of the month before university because I feel like this is the kind of breakfast that gives you energy for the All day. All three of them? Yeah. Like the first one? Definitely, yes. The second one too? I enjoy all of them so far. Okay. And also I spent like way too much money on Catalan food. I have to keep something. True. I mean, it's not bad, so yeah. The first one was especially good. Oh, it's also good. Mm. I, I'm gonna say they all taste very similar mm -hmm. And they're all good in my opinion. Mm. I'm not sure if even the first one was the best, to be honest, or if it was more like this is completely new to us and now we're super excited and the more we ate of it, the less it was like that. But I'm, I'm still convinced they're all really good. I don't know if it's because we're used to it, but I felt like the last one had least flavor. And that's probably not true. But I feel like it. Because <laughs> like we tried two before and after getting used to the taste I probably yeah. thought to myself the last one tastes less like it. Yeah, I think so too. This is actually what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna eat for dinner. It tastes good, all of them, even though I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. Okay, um, how many categories did we have? We had chips, we had sweets. Which we had... weren't re really sweet. Yeah. We had turon, we had pate. Very now nice. we're gonna go to chocolate. This one is actually rather small, it only has two in them. Because this is like from a Chocolata Yolonj. This is actually, this is also Viennes, but like as far as I remember this chocolate is very expensive. So I didn't get as much because like, no. And because like, money. Exactly. <gasps> Looks so cool. You always get a big one. Yeah. Mmm. 
Okay, so I might keep this. Wow. I might actually keep mm. this. Mmm. Wow. It's very good milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Like it's not super sweet, it's not super bitter. It's like for for the age I'm at, I guess, the perfect level of And it's really soft. Like it has the typical chocolate consistency, but it's a bit softer once yeah. it's in your mouth. And then we have milk chocolate with almonds. It looks so dark for milk chocolate. It does. But even that didn't taste like exactly milk chocolate. No, 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 that was lighter. Hmm. Approval. Hmm. I gotta say this one tastes like the other one as well though. Yeah. Except for the nuts. Like it's the same chocolate. It's I'd the same say. chocolate, honestly. Yeah. And Which is lot. not bad, it's good. It's yeah. just the same taste though. Exactly. I also love how I'm gonna put a separate category for chocolate and it's gonna be just that. Chocolate. One chocolate and a chocolate that tastes like the same chocolate. <laughs> they taste the same, they look different, the packaging is really cool. Yeah, but it looks really pretty. Like mm. as a Christmas gift, just like that. We seal it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. I don't know why two are missing. <laughs> I don't know where the pieces are. <laughs> the last category. Oh. Is stuff from a bakery. Now this actually comes from a bakery and again I paid like a huge price for this but I was told that the sealed things from the bakery are good for a long while but that makes them very not only artisan but also very uh, typical for Catalonia. This one I actually had in the market for trial and so I already know it's good but I completely forgot what it tastes like so I feel like there's sugar on top like there's a sugar crust on the top. Mm. I feel like that'd be so good for tea. Mm. Like to eat with tea because it's kind of hard. Like harder consistency and tea is like not hard. <laughs> it just really is nice together. Tea is not hard, oh. the more you know. It's kind of a similar to rusk but sweetened. Frankly, if you ever go to Catalonia and you see like some bakery, see if they have that. Absolutely worth it. We call it Campodon, but I actually have no idea what this is called. Oh! Carquinolis. Carquinolis, I think that's the name of it. And then, last but not how did How are we already the last thing? That feels so wrong. It does, because that was a lot. Yeah, it was. And the time actually passed pretty quick. I guess. And now there, there will be like a recording of like 1 hour 20 or something, but the time actually passed really quick. Not gonna yeah. lie. Ooh. I also forgot what these are called, but that's another of traditional bakery things. Oh my god, why, why did you take so much? <laughs> because it's small. There's something in it flavor-wise that I know, but I cannot tell you what the hell it is. Nothing is on the package. <laughs> it feels so familiar to me, but I have Maybe no idea. Maybe it's lemon. I don't think it's lemon. Maybe it, it kind is of lemon. is. Maybe it's lemon. Haha, <laughs> me. There's something in it that we eat around Christmas, but I cannot tell you what it is. It's good regardless. They're a bit crunchy for me, like I would like them if they would be a little bit softer. True. But again, tea. But maybe, yeah, maybe for tea. <laughs> tea or coffee. Coffee like, might I don't, work as well, yeah, especially I don't know. if it's bitter. Yeah. That was an amazing selection of things, honestly. True. You, t you picked so well, like really. Especially like the pate, that is my absolute favorite they, out of they everything. They are so good. Like I was... I would really, I would buy them if I was there. Like... Yeah. They are really nice. And there's like more flavors of them. I feel like if I would ever be in Catalonia again, I wouldn't just get three flavors. I would get like all eight flavors. All of them and then make like a video about it. Yeah, Here just, just pate. <laughs> yeah. Um, otherwise, I mean the chips weren't the most outstanding. But I eat chips a lot, so like it's hard for me to be like, whoa! When it's chips. Same though, like I, I have a preference of chips that I like and those just taste like regular ones and the one with flavor tastes like flavor but like... <laughs> Not our flavor? Yeah. The chocolate was really nice even though like it was, again it wasn't the most outstanding chocolate in the world but it was good. Worth the price? I don't know. 
If you count in the packaging and give it to someone, maybe? Then yes. If you buy it for yourself? Nah. No. <laughs> but yeah, all in all, the bakery stuff also was really good. That's true. That was a really good selection. I feel like we had a really good look into Catalonia. Like stuff. I would eat the, the, the bakery stuff. I would eat that for breakfast or like in the evening. Absolutely. Whenever I have time to drink a cup of tea or coffee. Like I, I think it just complements it really well. <laughs> I find it great. You want to eat that as breakfast and I want to eat the pate as breakfast. <laughs> I am a coffee Two kinds person. Of people. Yeah, I am a coffee person, a coffee and tea person. I like sweets and salty stuff. But I don't really eat breakfast, so that would work. Me neither, actually. Like the first thing I ate today is all this stuff. Same. But we which had is not bread. Good. We had bread. Yeah, but it's like 8 p.m., so like I don't. 9 p.m. I don't think we should be admitting that we didn't eat today. That we is... ate today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I'm still gonna eat like 10 slices of bread with a fucking pate. It's probably gonna be empty by tonight, honestly. <laughs> nice. But that is really good. Yeah. Like, very surprisingly good. Okay, not surprisingly. I have to tell my Spanish friend to just mail me like 50 of them. <laughs> can I eat 50 of those if I don't eat breakfast? Well, I mean, you can eat them to any time of the day, and I think they are good until... Long enough. Even if not, I'm just gonna 24. Eat that. Whoa! So you have a lot they of time. They don't expire that fast. No, yeah, you could just get like a livestock of that and just... <laughs> <laughs> just put it into your, like, I don't know, fridge or wherever that goes. Does it even go into the fridge? I don't think you so, opened maybe. It? Oh! Uno vez abierto conserva en el frigorífico. Okay, so I guess once you opened it. What does una vez abierto conserva en el frigo? Mean. Sorry, I don't understand, but I found something else. Do you want to know what a token server is? No, thank you. <laughs> what does that mean? Token server? What is fridge in Spanish? In Spanish, that's frites. Anything else you want me to translate? Frites? <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is fridge in Catalan? Frites. What is fridge in Catalan? Oye Google, ¿qué dice nevera en catalán? Hey Google, what is fridge in catalán? Oye Google, ¿qué tiene el ganado? Hey Google, what are you saying? Hola, Google, ¿qué estás diciendo? <laughs> hey Google, did you turn yourself into like Catalan or Spanish? Juega a ti mismo, ¿te gusta el castillo? Oh my god. I need a Google Assistant. I don't speak a word of Spanish. I think we just turned the entire thing into Spanish. Hey Google! Hey Google! Change the language to English. Okay Google, cambia el idioma a inglés. Hey Google, do you speak English now? Okay Google, hablas inglés ahora? Hey Google, shut up. Sure, if you ever want to use this again, just say, be my Spanish interpreter. Oh! Oh, oh that's what God. just happened! <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but it was so confused. I it. thought we accidentally switched the fuck. Oh, damn. The language. <laughs> like, what was that? It was very confusing. Oh my God, I literally forgot what we were talking about because of that. Ah, the fridge, the fridge. Anyway, that was a fun experience. True. With a mess at the end, but like... What else is new? Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below anything you want to comment down below. And if you like videos like this one or travel vlogs, cooking videos, urban exploring, beauty stuff, social commentary, hauls, unboxings, product tests, <laughs> I honestly don't even know what I'm doing at this point anymore. Everything. So I would just advise you to go check out the rest of my channel, see if there's more content you'd enjoy, and if there is, maybe subscribe and stay up to date with everything I'm gonna do in the future. Until then, hopefully see you next time. Bye. Bye.